pistons. Uh, that should be good. Uh... Alright, Steve. Phone rings. Steve, uh, hello. This is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we could definitely help you with that. Can you uh, give me a bit uh, more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, uh, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me the address? Sure, my address is 1619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Uh, thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too. Thanks again. Alright, well, time to move some boxes. This one says that it must go in the bedroom. Hold on, where's... How do I know? Oh, that's not the right place for this box. So that's the living room. Uh, I can't leave it. I need to move these boxes. Alright, there's a creepy shadowy figure out there. As you can see. Alright, I'm close the door. This must be the bedroom. Let's pick up this box. Gotta keep moving boxes. There's a crucifix. This one says uh, I must go in the kitchen. Oh. Alright. This is the kitchen right now. Uh, yeah. Alright, this is the bathroom. Let me just make sure this is in the kitchen. I should probably hurry up with these boxes so I can grab something to drink later. Alright, let's hurry up and do that. Alright, this one says uh, kitchen again. Okay. So I don't know if this is the kitchen. It must be the kitchen, right? There's a fridge. There's a lot of boxes. Uh, this is gonna say where the, the, uh, to place it. Maybe I should open it. Um, open. Is that a blood on a knife? Uh, betrayal of a friend, part one. I should never have told my best friend about my wife. It, it was a moment of carelessness, a slip of the tongue, but what did it matter? This was another person in my life who didn't understand me. Who couldn't uh, comprehend the power that I held? When he asked where he was or where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. He laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. Now, but now I knew that I couldn't take any chances. Febru uh, 18 of February 2023. The betrayal of a friend, part two. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead, I went to the kitchen to find a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumpling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. He was just another obstacle that I had to remove. Another person who didn't belong in my world. Yeah, sounds like a psychopath. We gotta get out of here. Don't touch the evidence. Won't you like <laughs> call the cops right away? I think I'll leave this here. I'm not liking that. Someone's outside. All right, dude, I want to left right away. Like seeing that knife and that that, that diary, whatever. Baby's bedroom. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> Dude, I heard something. And my dog is having a, a dream. This is
Have the TV turned on. Okay. Oh. Living room. Uh, baby's bedroom. Okay, this is the diamond, right? Uh, open it. All the same one. Bedroom. Kitchen. Say open again. Here's the journal side. Wait a minute. The end of her marriage. I couldn't believe it. It was when she threatened to leave me. After all I've done for her, she had a audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I didn't, I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed it, but it was barking too loudly, and it was really starting to piss me off. And I, uh, it's not like I haven't killed the small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it at, at this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog, dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy, like when she threatened to divorce me. The death of the marriage. I couldn't let her leave. I had to make, sh her, make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I remind, it reminds me of uh, how powerful I, I am. Damn, this guy's crazy, man. It's crazy. Bedroom. I'm almost done. <clears throat> Gotta get out of here. Oh, man. This guy better pay me a lot. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm gonna die at the end. Watch. Dining room. All the work uh, made me thirsty. I should get something to drink before I leave. The Snoop Part One. I was sure I've covered my tracks, but her sister were getting suspicious. Uh, one of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept uh, prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on the trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her in the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She was laying there, gasping for air, gasping at her throat. I could feel her struggle, struggling. Breathe uh, beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. I was very, uh, it was a small victory. This guy is a psychopath. <laughs> I need to get the hell out of here. Man, come on, man. You serious? I'm thirsty. I should get something to drink. I want to get the hell out of here. Hmm. I bet they won't mind taking me some juice. Yeah, juice after you're going to die. Alright, I'm ready. Another oh, package. Open it. Is this real? Fuck. 
It smells horrible. The Vanish Act Part 1. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spread, I spared, had grown suspicious and it went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that that wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with the plan. I knew I couldn't dis uh, just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I was a victim that I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. I began staging a break-in at our home. <coughs> I smashed the window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken into and taken all us all. I left a few items of clothes behind along with some personal touches to make it seem more convincing. Did not disappear, however, to make sure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I don't condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Where am I? Am I in the loop? Am I supposed to go this way? I don't know. No flashlight. Alright, so I gotta go back. There's the phone now. Shit, the lights are out. I hope my phone battery did that. Come down, come, come. What the? What's going on, bro? That was. Oh, what? What's going on, man? Where's the phone? The TV? Alright, this is creeping me out now, man. Reading the goosebumps. Hello, what do you want from me? Your job was to move the damn boxes, not to open them. Oh, snap. Got shot. That was pretty cool, guys. Uh, that was Peter House. So I'll leave a review and all that stuff too. That was a cool little game. Let's check. Uh, <coughs> Death Hotel. It was a short five-minute horror game experience. I bought this game. A short horror experience as a hotel receptionist. Receptionist. You are a young. Hotel receptionist working at night. You walk uh, customers to a paradise hotel. Book the rooms. You notice strange things and strange customers at this hotel. Kind of sounds like a like you know stay at the house or yeah, pretty much like the gas station. But we're in a motel now. Death Hotel. It was gonna be short, Let's say five minutes, so I might do four games. Alright. It's loading or it froze. Okay, it's loading. Oh. oh. Can I change the settings? If not, I should end the game this game. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end it. Yeah, cause uh it's laggy. And it's using the Unreal Engine 4, I believe. And my PC is not a gaming PC, like a good, a new one. Uh, 
Check out this one. The moon was fading away. Yeah, let's check it out. I couldn't play the other one. It's just laggy, like my friends be dropping. In Espanol. <coughs> Eyeballs. Let the lame the game load. Okay. Bluebird Games. The moon has faded away. First thing it was cool though, Peter's house. If you guys missed it, I will be posting the video though. If you guys want to check out the the stream again, I'm actually recording it too because sometimes it doesn't come out good. Uh, Augusto 2 p.m. August 24th. Oh, the Spanish guys. It's not translation. And the text would go by fast. This is Spanish though. Put the titles in English. Oh, probably too, yeah, I quit the game. <laughs> Yeah, I probably have to uh, quit this one because it's not in English. Uh, damn. Let me try. Should I try sh uh, Nightmare Swamp? <laughs> this is a Shrek fan made game. Let me try this one. Oh, I gotta update it. Shit. That's not really stream right now because there's not really that much games to stream. Or should I do this? I haven't played this one. Nah. Yeah, that's why I haven't been re like really streaming. There's not really that much games right now. I am waiting for in April. What's the game called? I forgot what is it called. But it's a Torture Star Studio game. Oh, Rewind and Die. I am going to stream that one. It releases next month in April. So stay tuned for that, guys. Either I'll be streaming it or I'll just make a video on it. Because I already made a video on The Last Raider. Uh, this is a good game right here. I'll probably just do this night of and end the stream here, guys. I, I can't really find that much games to uh, to stream or play. So it's probably gonna be my last uh if it lets me. These are all the games I have. Oh there he goes loading. 